The 1960s saw K-State athletics welcome new facilities and for a short time, some new sports. Men's rowing, rifle, bowling, and soccer were briefly added in the mid-60s as varsity sports with varying levels of success and support. Construction for the new home of K-State baseball began in the summer of 1960. Opening in April of 1961, KSU Baseball Stadium saw the Wildcats win their first game in their new stadium, 11 to nothing over Iowa State. In 1963, K-State golfer Jim Colbert burst onto the scene, finishing as the NCAA championship runner-up in 1964. Also during the spring of 1964, K-State basketball made their fourth trip to the Final Four. Kansas State against Wichita University. This dream game between the two Sunflower State powers packed the Wichita Roundhouse, and the Wildcats never played better. With Tech's winner's squad upsetting number five Wichita State in Wichita, with All-American Willie Morrell leading the way. Winter would guide the Wildcats until 1968, when Cotton Fitzsimmons would take over. Despite only coaching two years, Fitzsimmons left an indelible impression on K-State, claiming a Big 8 title during the 1969 season. In track and field, Ken Swenson was a four-time All-American during his late 60s career, winning four NCAA championships and later competing in the Olympics. On the gridiron, Vince Gibson's arrival in 1967 coincided with a move to a $1.6 million, 35,000 seating capacity new home for football. Debuting in September of 1968, the Wildcats won their first game at KSU Stadium, 21 to nothing over Colorado State. The football team enjoyed rare success in the late 60s, led by star quarterback Lynn Dickey. There's no score. Dickey on the roll out to his right. He's got a long one pumping. Touchdown! Charlie Porter! Who led the Wildcats to a 5-1 start in 1969, including a 59-21 upset of number 11 Oklahoma. 